What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is John and I do fashion content here on YouTube. And I think I would post my Japan vlogs first before this one. And if you've seen those, you know that I've traveled to Japan like the last week of November. And I did a lot of shopping. Like the agenda for that trip was shopping and to shoot a lot of content, which I did. And I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs. And now for today's video, I will be doing a haul of everything that I got from Japan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let's start because sobrang rami kong binili. Let's go. Actually, I don't know where to start, but I'll just start whichever I see first. And... The things that I'm seeing first are the shoes. So let's start with the shoes. Okay, when in Japan, you have to buy the shoes. Like, sobrang muro kasi niya compared to the Philippines. The first thing that I got is this Onitsuka Tiger in silver. And I've been wanting this shoe because it's a good alternative to the Wheels Bonner X Adidas collab, the silver one. It's a great alternative because mas muro talaga siya. The Philippines, this retails for like 8,000 or 9,000 but there in Japan it's only 5,000 pesos that's why when in Japan you have to buy Onitsuka Tigers I feel like it's such a good statement piece I was thinking about the Kill Bills but everyone has those and I feel like this fits my aesthetic more and my personality more and I have a silver tail for it that's why I opted with this one and yeah yeah this is like one of the shoes you must buy in japan because it's really cheaper there the second shoe that you must buy when you're in japan are some haruta loafers as in it's a japanese brand it's called haruta and it's such a good quality leather and it's so cheap i already have another pair but it's like a maroon color i my ninang got it from me from japan and super love ko dun yun and I decided I wanted a plain black loafer because I already have like a contrast loafers from regions. But sometimes the outfit calls for an all black leather shoe. And I opted to get it na lang there since it's cheap. I think I got this for 5,500 yen. So around 1.5 or 1.6 or 1.8. I forgot the conversion. Basta yen times 0 0.372. That's the conversion. So yeah, I think I got this for 5,500 yen. So it's really cheap and super ganda ng quality as in it's leather sole as well. And ang ganda talaga as in you must buy this when you're in Japan. I highly recommend. Sobrang raming different options. They're like derbies, boots, but I opted for a loafer. I know I'm gonna use the loafers more than the others. So yeah, I highly recommend checking out a Haruta store or any random leather shoe store. They actually can have harutas there but yeah check them out okay, the third shoe that i'm gonna show you guys actually parang ire regret ko talaga if di ko siya binili when i saw it i knew i had to get it but i was still doubting myself but yeah good thing in in our last day i was able to get it and the shoe is actually from atmos x adidas it's a special collab from them and you can actually buy the shoe here in the philippines but this specific shoe I got is actually a Harajuku exclusive. This is the shoe that I got. It's this Adidas 80 to 85 Gazelle and it's a special collab. You can see the Atmos blue at the back. And what makes it a Harajuku exclusive is actually the longer tongue. You can actually buy this pair in any Atmos but when I was browsing through a different Atmos rather than the Harajuku one, I was asking for this specific pair, the one with the longer tongue, and they said it was a Harajuku exclusive. So right there and then, I realized I had to get it because I really love this detail. Because if you guys know, I really love the Adidas X Wales Bonner collab, and I've never gotten the chance to get one, and it's a bit expensive for my budget. So this is a good alternative. This converts into 6,000 pesos only, which is super good. And I was actually really looking for a black shoe. And yeah, I finally found it. And it's a good collab. And I know it's a rare piece since it's a Harajuku exclusive. And the tongue is actually reversible. So if I wanted like a more blue detail, I could just flip the tongue and make it blue. But for now, I'm using the black side. The last shoe that I'm gonna show you guys, ito talaga yung pinaka gusto kong bilhin sa Japan. Like, I need to buy it. It was number one in my wish list. 
And in the second day, I bought it already. And it's actually from Bape. When I knew that I was going to Japan, I knew I had to get like Bape stuff because I was in the market for like a chunky, very street style shoe. And Bape stuff just check all the boxes for it. And I was looking for a very neutral shoe that I will always use or a very colorful one, like a very fun colorway. But when I went there, there wasn't any colorful colorway. So I decided to go for a neutral one. The colorway that I went with was actually a panda colorway. I know very saturated yung Nike Dunks na panda. But I know I will abuse this. Like I will always use this because very neutral nga siya. Actually, it has more detail than you actually expect it to have. It has pony hair for the black parts. As in pony hair siya. I don't know if you guys see it, but I hope you guys see the detail. But the black parts are actually pony hair. Or I think it is pony hair. But yeah, so that really made me buy it and super love this shoe i actually used it a lot already and yeah i'm still taking care of it but i know i'll just abuse this for a long time and the reason why i decided to get babes does here is right now if you guys didn't know yen japanese yen is actually weak right now and the conversion from japanese yen to philippine peso is actually 0.37 when it's usually 0.44 so sobrang saya mag shopping and usually 13,000 pesos to but now since weaker yung yen I got it for like 9,000 or 9,5 so yung conversion is from 36,000 yen so convert yun na lang yun by 0.37 multiply nyo and yun yung how much the shoe is and here in the Philippines, Commonwealth is selling it for like 16,000 or 18,000. Just really happy with this purchase and now I have a shoe that's very street style. That is every shoe that I got, I got a total of four pairs of shoes. So let's move on to everything that I thrifted. And if you don't know, J Japan is like thrift heaven. And the first spot that we actually thrifted is from Harajuku if I'm not mistaken by I only got like two items because in Harajuku very ano na as in very commercialized so sober ramming tourists there so the prices are very expensive but I got like two pieces that I really love the first item actually is a very experimental of me I got this oversized hockey jersey Actually, I shared ko na lahat to sa TikTok, so guys, follow me on TikTok. But it's from the brand Boss. I think it's Boss Coffee. If you guys know, very famous yung Boss Coffee sa Japan. And yeah, super love the colors. I was going for that very Y2K or hip hop look, and very uso yun with a oversized like hockey jersey and then oversized shorts. I think I got this for one thousand yen. If I'm not mistaken, sana maalala ko pa, 1,000 yen or 2,000 yen. I'll just show you guys try on clips of this. The second item that I got from the Harajuku thrift store was this hat. And I'm not sure what you call this kind of hat, but I know these are ear flaps. And super unique lang. And super cold that time when I went. And this really helped with my ears. We really like the way when you put up the ear flaps, you can still wear it like that. And it has a design so i can still wear, wear it here in the philippines so i got this for 2000 yen which is kind of steep for a hat but it is very unique and i super love talaga yung flap dito i'll show you guys how it works on my head i don't regret it kahit medyo overpriced siya. i think it's around 900 pesos this is the second and the last item I got from Harajuku. The second place that I went thrifting to is Shimokitazawa. I think if you love thrifting, I think you saw this place already on your For You page or recommended videos on YouTube. It's like a whole community full of thrift stores. And if you're looking for something specific, most likely they have it there. And actually, I just got one item. And this is like one of my favorite items that I got from this trip. It's this patchwork denim jean. You guys can't see it properly like this, but I'll just show you guys a try on clips and videos. But I really love the patchwork. 
I think one of the thrift stores, I think it's called Flamingo. They do a lot of rework as well. And one of them is like reworking pants. And I got this very cool patchwork. Actually, sobrang rami nito. So, pumili lang ako ng mas gusto kong patchwork. And I got this for 5,000 yen. So, around 1,800 pesos. This is one of my favorite items that I got in Japan. As in, super love. Ang ganda ng fit. And again, it's a one-of-one one piece. And I really love pieces like that. Na I know ako lang meron. So yeah, super love. I highly recommend going there talaga in Shimokitazawa and go to Flamingo if you like rework pieces. The last place that I thrifted at is actually the Oi Racecourse Flea Market and it's Tokyo's biggest flea market and it's held every weekend. I actually went here with my family during 2019 and it was really a good experience but before I wasn't really that into clothes yet so I didn't know what they were selling or buying. So yeah, but now that I know a lot of stuff, I really, really enjoyed the experience. It's from 9 to 2 only, like 9 to 2 p.m. So if you're planning to visit, just be minded that they actually close early. Like they start packing up at 1. But if you are in Tokyo over the weekend, I highly recommend going there. With the first item that I got there and the cheapest, it's this koi fish long sleeve. And guys, this is like 100 yen, which is like 37 pesos. And super ganda ng detail. What got me talaga was the back detail. Super cute. And such a statement piece pag nakatalikod. But love the front as well. And for 40 pesos or 100 yen, I wouldn't go wrong with it. As in, di ko naman mariregret this. If nagsawa na ako, I could just sell it after. The next item that I got, Actually, may nakita ko dun store na nagsasell ng sobrang raming knits, as in puro knits. And I got this knit, parang siyang orange. It's actually close to the color of the year for 2024, Peach Crush. And super soft nito, if you guys could feel it. And it has brand new with tags, actually. Tinanggal ko na. But brand new with tags. And I got this for 300 yen, which is like 90 pesos. 90 or 120. Basta ko convert ko na lang guys. Basta sobrang cheap. The next knit that I got is actually a cardigan. It's from the brand Heritage House. Actually, di ko siya mapakita ng properly. Just check the try on clips. But it has this beautiful knit pattern. If you guys can see. As in para siyang florals na very graphic. And super love na it's like a black piece pero with colorful details. And if you see it on body, you guys know why I love it so much. I got this for 1,000 yen. It's such a good quality knit. It's converted into 370 pesos for a knit like this. Di ka makakahanap for that price. And yeah, super ganda talaga. And this tall, actually, nakalapag lang sa floor yung mga knit. So, kailangan mo mag-browse through talaga. So, tingin-tingin ka talaga or else di mo makikita yung steals. But this is one of my favorite finds from this flea market. Next piece or knit that I got from the same store and 1,000 yen again was this Tour de Force graphic knit. As in, look at the knit and the color, guys. If you guys know, blue is one of my favorite colors and sobrang ganda talaga ng color. And the quality of the knit Sobrang ganda. And it's not itchy, guys. So, that's good for me. It's a plus because medyo sensitive ako pag itchy yung knit. And super ganda ng pattern. Mukha siyang donuts. Actually, looks like a piece from Gucci before. But yeah, such a good piece. 300 peso sweater na ganto here in the Philippines. Super steel in good condition. And the last knit that I got is actually from Tundra. And very famous tong brand na to for its knits. It's from Canada. And again, sobrang ganda ng knit pattern. It's like ovals. Different colors of ovals. Para siyang layers. And I'll just show you guys a try-on para you can see it better. But yeah, actually, shin-rink ko na to. Medyo malaki siya. So, yung nasa video, hindi pa siya shrink. Pero I shrinked it already in the washing. But yeah, super love. Again, it's 1,000 yen, which is 370 pesos at that time. Another piece na super love ko. Next two items I got from the same seller. And this seller is actually a vintage seller talaga. So he knows his stuff. 
and he speaks good English and he knows the items. And he was really happy when he heard that me and my brother were actually sellers as well. And actually, super saya niya pag may mga foreigners na bumibili sa kanya. He feels like na he's spreading culture, which is true. He is spreading culture and he made us smile like super fun. He was so nice. And super fun no mga stories niya. And the first thing that I got from him was this like wash black denim tote bag. It's made from the USA. And guys, look at this hardware. Super cute. And I just love the aged, distressed look of it. It's made in the US. I forgot what brand is this. It's from the brand Melpole. I don't know that brand, but it looks high quality and it feels high quality and it has black leather straps. It's actually in good condition and this is 800 yen. I'll just convert it. But yeah, this is the first thing that I got from him. Next thing that I got from him was this wide leg beige trousers. Yung material niya para siyang Carhartt material if you guys know. And it's from the brand Hagar. I'm not familiar, pero... Nagustuhan ko lang talaga yung color and fit. And medyo aged na siya and washed. So you see may mga distressing na siya. But yeah, I got it for 1,000 yen. So 370 pesos. I super love the fit. I'll just show you guys yung fit. Ganda-ganda ng fit sa akin. Uh, next thing that I got or thrifted is this Dickies 874 original fit. And I got this for 500 yen ata. Very sikat to. And parang ito ata yung ni Jenny. Actually, that's why I got it because I ko talaga si Jenny from Blackpink and super love that you can do this with the pant which adds a little detail. And I was really looking for like a very beige or stone trousers na hindi ganun ka wide leg. Lately kasi puro ka wide leg na I could wear with like very smart casual fits and I can just dress up some of my outfits with this. Super good condition. As in, para hindi siya ginamit. Para na siyang dead stock. This is the last clothing piece that I got from the flea market and one of my absolute favorite finds from the whole trip. As in, super love ko tong jacket na to. And it's this Dolce, like, military type of jacket. It has three materials. Nylon, corduroy, and leather. And I got this for 3,200 yen. Parang, you can haggle, guys. If you're there, you can haggle. What I do, I just say last price or best price. Then I bring out my phone's calculator and then they type the number. And you can just haggle. As in, don't be scared to haggle. You can haggle with them. And they're really nice naman. And I just super love the three materials. Like yung mix ng corduroy and nylon. And very ano siya, yung silhouette niya, very military jacket silhouette. I'll just show you guys on body. It just makes me look so big and mukha ko sobrang batak. <laughs> and yeah, super love this. As in, ang ganda talaga. It's such a unique piece. Parang hindi ako makakakita ng piece like this in the Philippines. That's why I got it. It's around 900 pesos. Pe such a steal! Super ganda. And it's in good condition. Yung leather medyo nagbabakbak but I don't mind. Hindi ko masyadong gusto naman yung leather part. But yeah, when you see it on body you'll fall in love. In that flea market, there's a lot of random stuff and one of them are actually like anime figures. And recently talaga, I super love Jujutsu Kaisen as in I'm addicted to it. And I found like anime figures there and super steel kasi 500 yen lang siya. Super cheap. Dito medyo mahal siya. And first thing that I got or saw was this Megumi figure. I forgot from which brand siya. Hindi ko na inuwi yung box kasi sobrang bulky siya sa suitcase. But for 500 yen, ang cute. Siyempre, kailangan niya ng friend. I got this Gojo figurine and nakaupo siya. And sakto, super cute na to. Pag nakaupo sa shelf, super cute. Again, 500 yen. Super cute. And then, again, another anime that I'm re-watching right now is actually Initial D because the release yung Initial D ng spin-off nila which is MF Ghost and I'm obsessed with it. And grabe yung odds of finding the first volume of the manga of Initial D there. Ang ganda. And I got this for 100 yen. 40 pesos. And wala. I'm gonna use it as a decor piece then because di ko na maintindihan yung Nihongo. The first volume of the manga. 
Actually, I have one, two, three, but I just decided that to get the volume one lang because I don't need all. And the most my value talaga yung volume one when it comes to mangas. And that is everything that I got from the flea market. Next place that I went to is actually one of my favorite stores in Japan, and it's Jiu. If you guys don't know, Jiu is actually the sister company of Uniqlo, but they are cheaper and more fashion forward. And I got six items in total, and here is the first. Actually, nakikita nyo na sa likod, kasi sobrang rami na talaga akong binili, di kasha sa kama ko. But these are all washed naman. And the first item I'm gonna show you guys is this quilted vest. If you guys see my Instagram, I really love like very... Japanese Americana or Japanese aesthetic. One staple piece of that aesthetic is like quilted vests, like as a layering piece, and super ganda ng color. As in, ang ganda ng dark brown, very choco brown siya. And I love the quilted details, not like a diamond pattern. I, I don't know the quilted pattern of this one, what you call this pattern of quilt, but yeah. Super cheap. I think I got this for 1,990 yen. I knew I had to get it. And yeah, in Japan, if you want tax free, you have to spend like over 5,500 yen, and you get like 10% discount. So I got this for cheaper. Pa kaya such a steal. And di ako makakita ng ganto sa Philippines. Another quilted item. Actually, pinagpipilian ko silang dalawa kung which one I should get. But sabi ko sa sarili ko, I'll just get both because ang ganda talaga. This time, it's like a quilted jacket. Same pattern but a different color brown. Mukha siyang lumot. It looks like lumot color. Like very greenish brown color. And yeah. Just the same vibe. I can still wear it in the Philippines. Don't worry. Hindi siya ganong kainit. And again, perfect for like very Japanese or like Japanese Americana aesthetic to. Just layer it and it's really good. And by itself, it's such a good piece. I got this for 2,990 yen. Third item that I got, which is like 370 pesos, parachute pants. And it's like in this taupe color and... Wala, super ganda. I had to get, I regret not buying a lot para I can just gift it to my friends or something. Pero yun, 370 pesos for parachute pants. Such a steal. Sobrang ganda ng quality and super ganda ng fit. I'll just show you guys sa try on. But super nice. Such a steal. Again, <laughs> puro ko such a steal. Kasi, okay, honestly, steal talaga naman yung prices. Before talaga, naghahanap na ako ng jogging pants na straight leg lang, walang cuff sa bottom as in like this. And I was looking for this exact color, like very washed gray. And yeah, and super ganda ng quality nito as in heavy cotton. Kakaiba as in nakasulat dun heavy cotton talaga. And super ganda, very heavy. Ang ganda ng drop nito sa shoes ko. And wala, it's just a basic jogging pants but very elevated again wala siyang cuff which i like and i super love the pleat in the middle for each leg it just adds a subtle detail and yeah i got this for 1990 yen last piece that i got is actually one of my favorite pieces na kinuha ko again from japan and it's a two-piece set it's a collab between gu and beautiful people Beautiful People is like a designer brand in Japan and very expensive. Like Uniqlo, they collab sila with like designer brands like uh, Marnie, JW Anderson. So Gio also collabs and one of them is Beautiful People and sobrang ganda ng fit nito. If you guys know the fit of suits ng 90s, very oversized yung pant and yung Blazer, ano nyo fit niya. And super ganda. Very Y2K hip hop vibe talaga ng gantong suit. And super cute ng detail. It's a pinstripe navy blue. Actually, dalawa siya. Now, looking back, I regret not getting the gray as well. Kasi sobrang ganda when I fit. Sobrang ganda ng fit ng pants, ng blazer. Everything about it. And all in all, this is like 10,000 yen. As in both of them na. Which is like 3,700 pesos. Such a steal. I think sobrang ganda ng quality. I wish talaga na binili ko yung gray version as well. But yeah, I'm super happy. I'll show you guys the try-on clips. 
But yeah, sobrang ganda. I highly recommend going to GU if you're in Japan as in such a good place to shop. Especially if you love Uniqlo, you're gonna love GU more. As in, you're not gonna buy in Uniqlo anymore. You're gonna buy in GU always. I was thrifting. I was actually looking for like a good quality belt. Pero for some reason, wala akong nagustuhan. And when we were in Ginza, maraming stores sa Ginza, we stumbled upon diesel. I wasn't really planning to buy something from diesel. Pero napabili ako when I tried it on. And I found my black belt. Basta ito yung famous the belt. It just has the D logo on the buckle. And I actually chose the non-shiny one. So yung shiny for me medyo looks like plastic for me from afar. Pero I chose the non-shiny one. Medyo ano siya, very distressed na. And I like it. And sakto siya. I'm size 75. And I've used it so much. Sobrang ganda ng quality ng leather. And it's cheap. Actually, here in the Philippines, may mga sellers na nagbebenta like 10,000, 11,000. But I got this for 6,600 pesos, like converted. On our last day, I still had like extra money and I didn't want to bring it home sa Philippines kasi, again, weaker yen. So, pag kinonvert ko siya sa Philippine peso, mas mababa pa siya since I'm selling it. So, I decided na ubusin ko lahat ng yen ko doon. And sakto, may... Pair ako for a Carhartt piece and I got a five panel cap and just a simple color black lang. I know I'm gonna use this a lot since simple lang and I think this is 7,000 yen which is 26, 26, 2,600 pesos. Hindi ko naman siya nare-regret kasi ilang beses ko na siya nagamit ever since I got back from my trip and yeah, super nice. Again, it's just Carhartt, just a logo in the middle, nothing too special, but yeah, it's a five panel. I decided to go with this because different silhouette siya. And di ko naman siya nire-regret kasi usually parang yung baseball cap na silhouette palagi ginagamit ko or like flat caps. But I actually like this. These last few items, mga random na fashion items siya. So, nung nasa Carhartt kami, may nakita akong <laughs> magazine. And para siyang magazine of the Fall and Winter 2023 collection. And actually, bibiling ko siya. Kasi plano ko siyang bilin. So I asked the sales lady if I could buy it. Like, how much? And if we could buy it, you know. And she was, at first, she was like, no, no. So I thought, oh, pang design lang siya. Pero she put it down and then said, oh, it's for free. Anyone can take it. So she gave me one. <laughs> then I said, can I have one more? So I got two. I don't know why I have two, but yeah. Pang design ko lang siya for my room as like a coffee table book and sa store namin. But super nice lang tingnan. As it gives you a lot of inspiration. And wala, pag bored ka or bored ako, titingnan ko lang siya. <laughs> Libre lang siya. Para siya yung sa Uniqlo, every time na bagong season, nag-release yung Uniqlo na magazine. And yeah, actually, I went to a bookstore. Nagahanap talaga ako ng parang coffee table books or like mga magazine, like fashion magazine. Kasi wala, kahit di ko maintindihan, it's just nice to look at. And one of them is this Vintage Collectibles by VCM. And super ganda tingnan. I'll just Google Translate pag gusto ko na siya basahin. And I can get a lot of inspiration here. I might do a TikTok video about the pages here on the magazine. But yeah, such a good piece. Actually, ito yung pinakamahal ata. 3,800. Ang mahal pala nito. <laughs> Ang mahal niya. Pero yeah, such a good parang piece and I can get a lot of inspo from this one. Next, actually Mema, as in kinuha ko lahat ng fashion magazines there or like books. Kasi super cute. This one is from Second and this specifically is like a British Ivy. And again, such good inspo. Kakaiba talaga yung mga magazine here sa Japan. You can get a lot of inspo. This one is cheaper. This is like 1,000 yen. So yeah, see, look. Sobrang ram I can copy this outfit. I can make it a TikTok idea uh, recreating outfits from the fashion magazine like that. And yeah, I can just use Google Translate if I really wanted to read it. And the last magazine that we got is actually really cool. It's from Ollie and 
It features the Asian street dream, and it's actually the Philippines. Fini feature nila Philippines, so it's just really cool to see, like Philippines in a like foreign magazine and in being sold in Japan. And here, see, Manila, Philippines, featuring Oside Mafia. Just shows like the Asian streets, like the culture and everything about it, and yeah. This is the last magazine that we got. And that is everything that I got from Japan. Actually, yun lahat ng mga very fashion-related items. But I still have a lot of like mga knickknacks, like souvenirs. But I'm not gonna show you guys that because it's major boring yun for you guys. Since fashion content creator ako. But yeah, that is everything that I got from Japan. I hope you guys enjoy this haul. And I really enjoyed Japan. I wish I can come back to Japan. I hope I can come back to Japan in the near future. But yeah, I still have some regrets, some like places I wish I went to. But overall, I'm really happy. I really enjoyed the trip. And my wallet is now officially zero as in wala nang laman. I need to work again and... Hopefully, in the future, I'll go back to Japan. That is it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.